G'day people, I'm Monster Dad, and welcome back to this Minecraft 1.13 vanilla playthrough. Sorry it's been a couple of weeks since I last recorded and put an episode out, but I haven't been very well. And coughing, sneezing, spluttering, not very good for video. <laughs> so I had to have a little rest for a bit. Um, I haven't done a great deal between episodes either. I know, I'm lazy. Oh hum. I'm feeling sorry for myself, what can I say? Um, this staircase is still a complete mess. I'm still not sure what to do with it. Um, I'll have to have a think about it. I started adding a little bit more of the retaining wall in. Um, it is taking up a lot of resources, but it's, it's getting there. Yeah, and I think it looks okay. Fairly happy with the design. Sort of matches the sort of colour scheme we're going for here. Sort of royal garden type thing. I stuck this fence up around the um, the ravine temporarily because I, I nearly fell down it a couple of times when I was doing this. What I've also done is I've gone around the entirety of the outside of the garden now, carved out a bit more of the landscape, still got to take this bit off, and marked out where the retaining wall areas will be. So these markings are the the, the little three block section in between the, the retaining wall pattern so they go all the way around there now Oop. Do, 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 do. Whee! this bit what I'm thinking of doing is um, opening up this little bit here because what I didn't realize is this actually goes just about all the way round to where our little dock will be so it will give like a boat access around to the dock as well but I'll show you the other end when I get around there because uh, one of the things I want to work on today is I'm not going to bore you with building the retaining wall I'll, I'll do that off camera um, what I want to work on today yeah so the wall goes all the way around here I want to work on dry river road that will lead down to the dock area because I do want to start getting out because I didn't realize there's a coral reef just off the shore there as well and I want to start fetching coral reef or corals and other stuff to fill up this little lake area here so we can start making this a little nicer and then we can start thinking about getting our aquarium done inside there as well so I do want to get this road done um, get the little dock area done so that we can then range out into the ocean and explore and get the stuff we need because we still have a treasure map that we haven't gone to investigate yet I'll munch on some fish so this is where the gate will be for dry river road and in fact it ended up working out perfectly um, the retaining wall finishes the pattern finishes there and there And we have a decent area here, decent, decent space to make some kind of nice gateway into here. So I think that'll be good. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this big area here. This, the path will go sort of like through here and up there. But I do want to decorate this area out here as well. So you come out of... You won't see any of that from in here because the retaining wall will be here. So you'll come out of the main gate into Dry River Road and there'll be some nice decoration around here and then the road I carved out a bit of the road area this way so it's all pretty flat as well which is really good it works out really well in fact um, this goes all the way around here do, 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 do. and eventually leads us to here from where we can sail out into the yonder um, and just there I think you can just see it there there's a coral reef that's all the way along there as well so that's really handy um, yeah and that little boat access is yeah ends there so it would need to um, just dig out that little area there and fill it with water just to join that up but that's that's not a particularly big job but that you can then sail all the way back round to the other bit as well. So there'll be two accesses or two access routes into this little little bay here where we'll have our dock. Um, so I think that's going to work out 
really good. Do you know what I'm going to do? Is no point leaving them like that. Let's just get them planted. Oops. Like that. Make use of them. Yeah, so what I want to work on today, as I said, is the actual design of this roadway. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. I think I've got about the right width for just about anything I want to do. Um, as I'm unsure what I'm going to do with this area here, here I think what we'll do is start it here. Um, so there's no levels to go up and down, so that's going to make life incredibly simple for us really or should do with regards to designing it so we don't because we don't need to go up and down any any levels which always makes things a little bit easier so I brought some blocks with me pop them in here so the sort of idea I have in mind is the, this is like the Royal Garden so the bit of road closest to this will be in very very good condition well kept um, because it's part of the raw garden but as we progress you know around maybe round about here we'll start to see some kind of degradation to the road so some maybe some cracked blocks maybe some nice blocks changed to cobble um, and as we get further down we'll see a bit more degradation maybe some blocks changed to wood so it looks like it's been repaired maybe even some blocks um, that are just part the grass pathway blocks and then as we get round to the dock the road will be in a little bit better repair again. So the two sides of the, the roadway that are nearest the, the dock and the and the raw garden will be in good condition. And then as we get deeper into the road where it's um, a little, le little less kept and a little less maintained, we'll see some degradation. And I think that that should work quite well. Um, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about stairs there at the moment. I may even fill a lot of this in to make it the same level. So what I think I'll do is we'll we'll start the roadway. How wide is that? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think I've sort of like done it at least five wide all the way through. Um, so that should be okay. So I'll have this is our. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Boom. That'll be our edge our right edge um, that'll be our left edge so with that we could do something that's sort of a, a pathway that's sort of three wide with um, some kind of trim either side of it couldn't we so how do we go do we sink it in well depends I guess depends on how we're going to do the trim as to how we're going to do this and also the kind of blocks we're going to use throughout now as we get deeper into the pathway if we're going to have some of the blocks like the part the grass pathway like that we're going to have to have it at a we can't have it at a, at a half block level we're going to have to have it at a full block level if you know what i mean so hmm. so in that case we're probably better off just having it at this level right here. Let me get rid of this stone. I'll grab a little bit of that coal. I don't have enormous amounts of coal. Okay. I'll just use that to fill that in. Right, I bet I didn't bring any ee, any grass, did I? Or dirt? No, I didn't. What, a, what an idiot. Beep, beep, beep. Um, let's take let's take one of each. That should be enough. What should do is. And sleep. So I guess this this kind of block I think will probably be the right kind of block for this end, um, the well kept area. I guess. Let's 
just fill that bit in. Um, and that will be the trim, so best leaving that like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it here because uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the stairway there. So the trim's going to be there. So let's. Uh, we know this isn't going to be grass for the first part. So. We've got a nice straight edge to start us off, which is good. Or a nice straight straight route before the road turns. Whee! Okay. Let's grab a selection of blocks and we'll see what we can do. Do do need some more of those. Okay, so we. I guess it, it would kind of make sense to have the nice quality pathway initially. I do want to do with that, make use of that coal. I'm going to make myself. Uh, couple of furnaces, burn eye furnaces, oh, whatever. Um, and I'm going to cook up some of that. Because when you cook that up, it becomes cracked and, and that will be a, the first sort of indication along our nice pristine road that it's, it's beginning to get worn out. Um, and I guess I tell you what we do. Let's, let's let's just let's get this in all the way to this section here at the moment, and then from there we can start playing around with it. Um, so the trim. What do we do with the, about the trim? See, I think that's. too high it just feels too much um, do, do, do. what if no that's not gonna work either it will no no hmm Hmm. Maybe we should just have some kind of fencing. See, I'd like to have this down to a half block, but unfortunately that would mean we wouldn't be able to use any of the, the grass path blocks later on down there. And I th really think that would add to the atmosphere of it. Um, did I bring any fencing with me? I did. We um, take that out for a minute. Then the fencing against here would look odd because it's going to join up, isn't it? And I think that would look a bit odd. What to do? I think we need to start it with that, don't we? Maybe that will form as what we need to do next. It's always a time consuming bit, getting the initial design done for something. But once you get the pattern going, it's just a case of grabbing the resources and repeating it. But um, I guess if we have a solid block to highlight the edge of the path. It's not so bad. How far do we want to go along? One, two, three, four, five. Is that 
not enough or is that too little? Five. It's a lot of brick, isn't it? That's a problem. So I just could separate these a bit more because these could then become the areas, or not necessarily every one, but every other one could be the, the lamppost. Because um, it will have lampposts all the way down this road as well. Now that, that, that might work. Um, just for, I suppose, for the sake of. Seeing the whole thing, we could just do that for now. Um, what I'll probably do is fill this in with, with grass blocks either side of it so that the path looks like it's been cut through the valley. Um, I think that would look much neater. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And that way the path, I'll build it up a little bit as well, I think. Um, but that way the path looks like it's been in, cut through. And we'll do the same as we turn it as well. We'll just fill in behind here and there. Why is that odd? Have I, even, have I managed to do that already? One, two, three, four, that's how. Because I can't count. There we go. Yeah. Um, okay. I think I'll go with that for now. Mm -hmm. I think if we had this all the way through, it, it would be too much. It's just too much of the same. Um, but with a lamppost every now and then on either side, every alternate of this that will break up the monotony as well but also as we go along here so let me get some of those cracked blocks we um, and you can also turn these into uh, the knotty by using some vines let me grab some of this as well because I think what I might do is, is part way down is change this nice border to a fence Maybe, I don't know, we'll see how that goes. So what we need to do, so every now and then as, as we get to, yeah, I mean, that's probably about the right area. So as we get to sort of like this area here, we'll just randomly remove some and start adding the cracked blocks. So as we come down, we can see that it's beginning to, that that's all well, main, well maintained near the garden. And this bit is beginning to, um, deteriorate slightly so let's sort of mark out what I'm gonna do is I'll cut there and I'll, I'll mark out dig out some of the pathway about halfway down there and then we can start filling it in with some of the other some of the other uh, pattern so I'll see you in just a moment later okay welcome back so I've dug along here a little bit let's get rid of this grass we don't need that oh, seeds in my inventory now um yeah so i'll just put those in for the moment okay scrap grab a few mossy as well Make some space. Okay. So if we 
start adding a few mossy as well as we get down here and then and then what I want to do at this point is start changing it over to cobble So nice and pristine, well kept. Now we start getting some cracks and some mossy areas and then we start seeing it change over from the nice brick to cobble. And then sort of in the middle area we'll start to see the cobble disappear and then have some grass path as well. And we can also add, you know, the mossy cobbling as well. I know I should be using cobble slabs for this because it's easier on the on the resources. So let's, let's breaks off a bit sudden there, doesn't it? Let's, let's change that a little bit. Pin a mossy there, proper one. Stick a cobble there. Yeah. So path is going to change. We'll get to cobble, and then we can do that a bit. Just use the rest of that cobble. So we'll change out a few of these for the mossy. Oops. I guess as we get to the grass pathways, let's get some grass blocks. We can then start seeing some grass pathways come into play. So, yeah, I think you get the idea now. So that's, yeah. So around this central area, we'll start seeing this kind of design. Let's go and get some more cobble. As we get around the corner, that will start being rectified slightly, a bit better condition, until we, we finish off the path, the roadway. It's more of a road than a path, isn't it? Finish off the roadway near the the dock in good, well-maintained well condition again. Let me just go grab some cobble. I'll grab cobble slabs because it's a bit cheaper. Whee! And I've got a ton of those. So we're going to want some of those. So we pretty much stopped using those. Yeah, uh, do, 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 do. Yep, let me just make a few more mossy. Okay, let's see what we can do with that. Have we started that too late, I wonder? I think the grassy area should have been started a bit earlier. Or maybe start seeing one or two of them a little bit earlier. Seems like a big stretch of cobble. Yeah, we'll go. Let's do that. So, we'll... Fill that in a bit more around there. I, oh, yeah, I'm using the cobble slabs now, and I forgot. So, let's 
so I just sort of randomly fill those in. Okay. What am I going to do with you? What am I going to do with you? So mossy. Okay. Yeah, and we'll do that until we get around the corner. So let's try and get some kind of edging worked out on this. Um, I guess what we could do is continue with this theme and then replace these with because you can do cracked ones with those as well can't you i think i think i think i think um no you can't i thought you could can you make them with the cracked no because you make them with slabs right okay forget that then forget that um we I guess what we could do is replace this with cobble stairs as we go through. Um that at least gives the same or well, the feeling of the, the the same theme going all the way down. Um I suppose every now and then what you could do is sort of change one of them for a cobble slab to give the impression that the, the stairway's broken. So We'll sort of continue this. Three, four. It's about there. Um, oh, that bit's going to be awkward, isn't it? Going around like that. Uh, how are we going to do that? Oh no, it's not. I'm just being a being a wally. Two, three, and then what we do with change it up with with cobble. Oh, this wrong. Stuck. Stuck. I'm sure I can get that that way, can't I? Am I going mad? I suppose we'd have to do like that, wouldn't we? No, because we're coming up the path. Oh, it's the little bits, isn't it, that I tell you what, it's, that one needs. No, that can't go that way either, can it? Uh, we'll have to have it there. No, can't have it there. Because that'll just look odd, won't it? At least to end with that bit there, doesn't it? Why can't I get that bit like that? Am I going. Oh, because I've got a stair there. Do, do, do. Keep pressing the wrong buttons. I, I just feel like there is a way to do this, but I'm just not being able to do it. I'm sure you're screaming at the screen at the moment, <laughs> telling me how to do it, but uh, I'll leave it for the moment. I'll have to come back to that bit. So yeah, I think guess we could continue the the stair trim theme all the way down, but just replace the, the nice brick stairs with the cobble stairs gradually initially, and then completely, and then every now and then we can replace one of the cobble stairs with a um, a cobble slab. I think I'm going to have to do that just to do that bit there. 
it's a bit awkward, but yeah. I'd have to do that there as well. So let's do that and then start trimming it all with, with cobble at that point. And then what we could also do is is that one, two, three, four. We need to go a bit more. Okay. One more. Instead of having the nice block like that there, we could replace it with a cobble. And that will be the end of the the nice stretch. One, two, three, four. And then what we could do, I don't know if we can because of the Oh, you know, we could probably do it. No, we can't. The stair's going to be odd, isn't it? I was hoping to replace a stair every now and then with with a slab, so that it feels like the stairs have broken. But we're not going to be able to do that unless it's on a on a straight bit. Uh, and unfortunately, this is diagonal all the way through. Hmm. That needs to be something else. I wonder if that needs to be just an ordinary one of the, the stone blocks. Would that be better? I think it might be. It might be. Let's get some of the other edge done and then we can see what it looks like with a trim on each side. I'm going to need to make a few more stair blocks. Is that going to be enough? Probably not. There we go. That should do it, he says, with total confidence. <laughs> so I don't want to repeat the pattern. I think we'll we'll grab a bit of cobble in here now. Um So we've got one, two, three, four, five. That's about right, isn't it? I can fix those bits up after. Let's just get this bit in. Um, yeah. Right, and then we can just move to cobble the rest of it. One, two, three, four, five, that's too many. And then carry on with that. And I was thinking of replacing some of the blocks with, with wood. I've messed up there, I think I have. But is that right? No, that's too short there, isn't it? It's too thin. What have I done wrong? Um, I think I've gone wrong there, haven't I? Yeah, adding a few wood blocks, but um, I felt probably probably not right. That bit's lined up down there. That bit. Am I going crazy mad? Do do do. So that should be like a corner there. One, two, three, four, five. That is right, isn't it? Why does it look like it's getting thinner down there? One, two, three. 
It should be three part two apart. They're two apart. I'm going to move this one back by one. Yeah, I want it to be more like a, a road than a path, uh, if that makes sense. So let's... There, so one, two, three, four, five. That'll fix it, that'll fix it. Yeah. Two, three, four. Five. We'll do that, and we'll go completely with cobble at that point. One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to have to take a bit of the hill all the way all the, down all the way through. <laughs> Boom. Okay, so I'll go to there at the moment. Let's fix up this pathway. And how does that? Oh, that's better. Yeah, I want it to look more like a, like I said, more like a road than a path. the right blocks there we go and cracked there we go chuck a bit of mossy in there And then start seeing a bit of grass. Okay. Right. Okay, we'll go with that. Yeah, that's better, a little bit wider there, isn't it? Um, need one of those there. Yeah, okay. Right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to continue this down here and then I'll come back to you when we're ready to do the final bit down there. So basically I'm just going to repeat this pattern down there. I'll see you in a minute. Welcome back. Okay, so I think we've completed now. I added some redstone lamps with a daylight sensor which I inverted so that they switch on at night. I uh, dotted a few of those around. It was a bit dark in that bit, isn't it? One last thing I want to do was in this area, I think, here. I want to bone meal it. Um, a little bit too high. 
Let me take the top bit off. Oh, come on. Come on. Wasting bone meal. I'll leave that like that. Um, just to give it that overgrown feeling, just in a couple of little bits, not too much. <laughs> a flower. Oh, I don't want too high. I'm just going to get too high on if I do that. Uh, I'll just play around with that. Oh, I know what to do. If I get a bigger area. And then I can get rid of the couple of ones that are too high. And then put my cobble back in. That's the way around it. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, I just want to give it a little bit of an overgrown feel. About midway. But yeah, I mean, it still needs a little bit of decorating. What I'm probably going to do is plant a couple of oak trees here and there along here just to break up this hillside. Um, probably change out some of this dirt to the stone to give it more of a um, a mountain feel rather than dirt. Ooh, mobs are out. Better get Smitey McSmite face ready. And so I've continued this all the way around. I changed these back to the the nice blocks all the way through. I thought it just it was a little bit better. Uh, there was just too much cobble. And I just need to do something with the dock end and the, the garden end to, to finish it off. But yeah, I think uh, it's sort of what I was looking for. Yep, yeah, get a bit run down around here. And a bit nice around here. Um, I might change the posts on these. I'm not sure. They just look a bit plain, just the one post. I'll have to think about that. Hmm, don't know. But definitely like the daylight sensors on top of the redstone lamps. I think they look just that little bit nicer than, than the vanilla glowstone, personally. But yeah, Ooh, got spiders crying around as well. Meet Smitey McSmite face, Mr. Spider. Oh, I've got a creeper right next to right next to my entrance. Are you kidding me? I'm going to have to sit in here for the night. <laughs> Go away. I'm going to sit on the roof. Whee! Should be safe enough up here. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, I am going to call it an episode there. Um, I think we definitely achieved something today. Um, and then next time, I think we'll start. I'll have to think about what I'm going to do with the little garden area there. And I'll probably start working on the gateway even before I finish the retaining wall all the way around. And then we just need to look, think about how we're going to do a little dock. It's not going to be anything extravagant for the dock. Just something more functional than anything that we can use to then boat around the area and grab all our coral and fish and tropical fish and stuff for our aquarium. Yeah. But thank you for coming along on that one. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for subscribing if you have. Please consider doing so if you haven't. I am Monstad and I will see you in the next episode. Later.